Look in a report by the Journal of the American Medical Association, quote, doctors are increasingly prescribing antidepressants for a variety of conditions unrelated to depression. Pain, ADD, digestive system disorders. What? What? Dr. Steve Hotze, my buddy, my pal. I call him the general from Hotze Health and Wellness, an amazing, I don't want to say doctor's office because that waters it down, but an amazing medical facility on I-10 and Fry Road. It's like the Four Seasons, the Rich Carlton, the customer service like you've never experienced before. Dr. Hotze, welcome to the show. Hey, good morning to you. General Gen- Maloney, how are you? Sir? I'm living, you know, I'm always living the dream. <laughs> the two of us are the most upbeat guys ever. Mm. How is it that docs are, are prescribing antidepressants so often, so much? Well, it gets down... <laughs> You got to follow the money trail for the pharmaceutical companies. Antidepressants are high dollar margin items to the pharmaceutical companies, and probably in the last year they probably sold twelve billion dollars worth of antidepressants. Twelve B as in boy Damn. billion dollars in antidepressants, and the antidepressants. What's really concerning about the antidepressants is the brand that they have. Antidepressants uh, are called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. That's a big word for meaning it messes with the neurochemistry in your brain. Your brain has three major neurotransmitters, norepinephrine, serotonin, and dopamine. And what these antidepressants do is they block the uptake of these these particular chemicals. That's how, how they're thought to work. There's no measurement in the blood of that, but that's how they're thought to work. And that is supposed to increase your moods and make you happy. But guess what? These antidepressants are knockoffs of cocaine. Cocaine is a neurotransmitter reuptake inhibitor, just like the antidepressants. I didn't know that. I did not know that. And if you look at, if you just go Google molecular structure of cocaine, and you Google antidepressant, any one of them, from Prozac to Celexa to to a Paxil, you look at their chemical structure. They're almost identical. They act by the same mechanism. That's why they're very, very dangerous drugs and can cause a host of health problems um, either when you initiate the treatment or when you change the treatment or withdraw it. Um, You know, here are some of the side effects of the antidepressants. One, it increases the risk of suicide. Two, it increases depression. Three, more anxiety, agitation, panic attacks, insomnia, irritability, hostility, impulsivity. All these are side effects. Wait, Doc, Doc, wait, hang on a second. Dr. Steve Hotze, taking an antidepressant can increase depression? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one of the major side effects. <laughs> That's back. Oh, yeah. Inclu- it also uh, destroys uh, uh, a man or woman's romantic moods and inclinations. It leads to a uh, significant weight gain. can make patients ma- manic, uh, impulsive. They're dangerous. When you start messing with psychotropic drugs that... that um, that ad- ad- adversely affect the biochemistry of your brain, you're playing with fire. And they're very, and guess what? In our society today, 10% of the population's on antidepressants. No. But of white women between the ages of 40 and 65, you've got about 30% of wow. those women are taking antidepressants. And the higher the socioeconomic um, uh, grade yeah. of a person, the uh, more money they make on most ho- more household income, the more likely they are to be on antidepressants. And they're being used for all kinds of things. They use them for you know, alcohol abuse or drug dependency. They use them in kids for, for um, you know, ADHD. They use them for anxiety uh, disorders. They use them in kids with autism. They give them for med- uh, eating disorders and fibromyalgia and, and any kind of pain and obsessive compulsive, you name a problem, they give it for arthritis. Well, it, right. They give it for arthritis and diabetic uh, neuropathies, hot flashes. They give it for mental. Anything you can think of, they give them. And guess what? Most of the antidepressants are not given by psychiatrists and don't go. A psychiatrist will load you up on that stuff. But about 80% of the antidepressants are given by primary care, care physicians. Okay, slow down here. See, I'm not a doc. Dr. Steve Hotze, Hotze Health and Wellness, getyourlifeback.com. On- I tend and fry, great friend. I uh, love this guy. Is I'm not a doc, but if you're giving somebody a pill for something, isn't it better to figure out what the problem is? Yes, hey, this is the whole deal. These mm-hmm. antidepressants are given as a, a as a band aid for any host of variety right. of symptoms. You've got to ask yourself what is causing your underlying symptoms. If you're fatigued, you can't sleep well, right. your mood swing, you got joint muscle aches and pains, you got stomach disorders. You don't need it's not because you have low levels of Prozac or antidepressants. 
you know, there's an underlying problem. And the most under uh, and the most commonly misdiagnosed, undiagnosed problem is low thyroid disorder, hypothyroidism, and hormonal imbalances That's and amazing. declines. That's where the underlying problem causes. If you treat the underlying problem, guess what? You don't have all these symptoms. Well, here's another thing, Doc, Dr. Steve Hotze, and I'm a media guy. You're the doctor. We monitor commercials and value and what they cost. If you ever notice the 530 national news, like CBS News, ABC, all they run is these commercials. The TV stations, networks, makes zillions of dollars on these depression drugs. Right. So they're not likely to peel the onion and look into it on their investigative side. No, they're not Because going. they make, whatever it is, hundreds of millions of dollars in ad revenue. Oh, yeah. There, there are billions of dollars in ad revenue wow. from the drug company. Their budgets are in the billions of dollars. And, they're, and, they're, and you know, this used not to be allowed on TV. Uh, I think America and New Zealand are the only two countries in the world that allow drugs to be marketed on TV. Yeah, we can't we don't show cigarette commercials and there's no hard liquor commercials on TV, but we have these kinds of antidepressant pills. Yeah, and of course what they do, you know, the the TV commercials, the average American watches four and a half five hours a day. Oh, you go old. So they're getting indoctrinated <laughs> right. into taking these drugs as a solution of their problems. And they're not. You, uh, we at our at the Health and Wellness Center, we don't prescribe antidepressants. We help our guests find the underlying cause of the problem and then help them wean off those antidepressants. That's fantastic. So it makes a huge difference in their life. And, and they get their lives back. Folks, that's why he said guests. Do you like uh, guests, not patients? And when you walk in there, it's not like there's a sliding glass window where they throw a clipboard at you with a pen stuck to it. It's, hi, how can I help you? Welcome to Hotsey Health and Wellness. Go online. Get your life back. Dot com. And the best thing is a hug, hanging out with friends, prayer, working out. All these things can lift that spirit. Right, Doc? You got it. All right, brother. You have an out. right on target as always, sir. <laughs> have a great day. Make it a terrific day. <laughs> it's the only way we do around here, brother. You have an outstanding, outstanding Wednesday. You too, bud. Thank God you, man. You. Dr. Steve Hotze, Hotze Health and Wellness. Go to GetYourLifeBack.com. GetYourLifeBack.com. Hour one in the can. Now we're two on the way. You're watching and listening to The Sam Alone Show, AM 1070, The Answer.